안녕하세요 토미입니다 Let's have fun learning an exciting language, Korean! The theme of today's class is 제가 가도 돼요? Is it okay for me to go? Today we are going to learn two expressions First, 아 얻어 돼요? May I? Is it okay? Which is used to ask someone for permission Second, 비읍습니다만 But or however which is a preface expression that is used when asking someone a favor. By learning these, your hard work will definitely bear fruit soon, and I'm sure you will pass topic with the highest score and be the super master of Korean. 그럼 시작할게요. Oh. The theme of today's conversation is 제가 가도 돼요? Is it okay for me to go? Sangmin got three tickets for a cruise ship from his junior colleague. Who is Sangmin going to invite? Let's try to guess from the conversation. 그럼 들어보세요. 보미 씨, 오늘 저녁에 시간 있으세요? 시간은 있습니다만 무슨 일이에요? 제 후배가 유람선 표를 세장 줬어요. 우리 같이 유람선을 타고 야경 구경하러 가요. 와, 그 유람선은 광고에서 많이 봤어요. 근데 제가 가도 돼요? 물론이죠. 제 친구들은 아무도 가고 싶어 하지 않아요. 그럼 제 친구를 데려가도 될까요? 네, 그러세요. 토미 씨 친구도 기뻐할 거예요. Oh. Did you hear it well? They are going on a cruise tonight. Sounds so exciting. I love that idea. Now, I'll explain the vocabulary and phrases while reviewing the conversation one sentence at a time. 보미 씨, 오늘 저녁에 시간 있으세요? 저녁 is evening. Let's take a look at some new words for indicating other times of a day. 새벽 is early morning or late night. So I can say it is approximately around 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. 아침 is morning. 낮 is daytime. 저녁 is evening. And 밤 is night. Among these, 아침 also means breakfast and 저녁 means dinner. However, keep in mind that lunch is 점심, not not. Got it? 시간은 있습니다만 무슨 일이에요? The word 일 is one of the words that beginners often make mistakes when making sentences. But 일, when used by itself, means matter or errands. Therefore, 무슨 일 will mean what matter. 무슨 일이에요 becomes what is it? And when it comes to work, the word is often followed by 하다, like 일하다, to work. So if you want to say I worked today, it sounds natural to say 오늘은 일했어요. Got it? 제 후배가 유람선 표를 세장 줬어요. 우리 같이 유람선을 타고 야경 구경하러 가요. 후배 is junior and 선배 is senior at school or office. 유람선 is a cruise ship and the word 장 in 세장 means pieces or sheets. You use native Korean numbers to count like 한 장, one sheet of paper, 두 장, two sheets of paper, 세 장, three sheets of paper, and so on. 야경 is a night view. 구경 means sightseeing. So 구경하다 is to see something for fun or to enjoy. Got it? Wow! 그 유람선은 광고에서 많이 봤어요. 근데 제가 가도 돼요? 광고 is an advertisement. By the way, TV commercials are called CF in Korean. This stands for a commercial film in English. By the way, in Korean, F is pronounced as E P. Very interesting, right? So it becomes CF. 물론이죠. 
제 친구들은 아무도 가고 싶어 하지 않아요. 물론 means of course and 물론이죠 also means of course but in a polite form. This is an expression that you will use very often so you might want to memorize this. 아무 means any or no. You use it in a negative sentence. When you say 아무도, it means nobody or no one. So 아무도 가고 싶어 하지 않다 means no one wants to go. I wonder why, right? Don't you? 그럼 제 친구를 데려가도 될까요? 데려가다 means to take someone with or to take along. Here, 데려가다 has 가다, right? 가다 means to go. So you can also say 데려오다, to bring someone with or come in company with. You can memorize these two verbs together. 네, 그러세요. 토미 씨 친구도 기뻐할 거예요. 그러세요 is please do so. It is made up with 그러다, to do so, and 으세요, please. 기뻐하다 is to be happy or pleased. 내 친구는 기뻐할 거예요 means my friend will be happy. Got it? Oh. Next, I'll explain the grammar. 아 얻어 되다 means one may or one is allowed to do something. This grammar indicates that you are okay to do an action. When you say 아 얻어 돼요, it means you are asking for permission like may I or can I or is it okay? To use it in a sentence, you remove yo from the yo form goodbye yo and add 도 돼요 instead. Now, let's look at a sentence in today's conversation. 제가 가도 돼요? Is it okay for me to go? 가다 is to go, right? It becomes 가요 in the yo form. If you remove yo from it and add 도 돼요, it becomes 가도 돼요? Is it okay to go? Let's look at another sentence in the conversation. 제 친구를 데려가도 될까요? May I take my friend with me? Here, 데려가다 is to take someone with. The yo form of 데려가다 is 데려가요. Yes, when you say goodbye to yo and add 도 될까요? It becomes 데려가도 될까요? May I take? Now, let's check out some other phrases as well. 이걸 제가 받아도 돼요? Is it okay for me to get this? May I receive this? Here, the yo form of 받다, to get or to receive is 받아요. Yes, when you remove yo, goodbye to yo. And add 도 돼요, it becomes 받아도 돼요. May I receive? Here is the next example sentence. 이거 제가 먹어도 돼요? Is it okay for me to eat this? May I eat this? Here, the yo form of 먹다, to eat, is 먹어요. Yes, when you remove yo, goodbye yo. And add 도 돼요, it becomes 먹어도 돼요. May I eat? Now, let's take a short quiz. What fits into the parentheses? 여기에 될까요? May I sit here? Number one, 안아도. Number two, 앉아도. The answer is number two. To sit is 안타. The yo form of 안타 is 앉아요. Yes, you remove yo, goodbye yo, and add to here. So the answer is 앉아도. Let's read the whole sentence together. 여기에 앉아도 될까요? Perfect. Let's look at the second grammar. 비읍습니다만 means but or however. This is a sentence connector to join two sentences. You use this grammar in the beginning of a clause 
to politely say something with but or however. Korean people often use this grammar with 죄송하다, to be sorry, 실례하다, to excuse, 미안하다, to be sorry, to express excuse me. For example, 실례합니다만, 혹시 배우가 아니세요? Excuse me, but aren't you an actor? Like this. You apply 비읍습니다만 in the same way as 비읍습니다 with basic three patterns. First, when a verb stem has a final consonant, you add 씁니다만. Second, when a verb stem does not have a final consonant, you add 비읍니다만. Lastly, when a verb stem finishes with real, remove real and add 비읍니다만. The past tenses add up and get, which are used to express intentions and guesses, also finish with a final consonant. So you use them with 씁니다만 as in 갔습니다만 or 모르겠습니다만. Got it? Now, let's read an example with a final consonant. This sentence is from today's conversation. 시간은 있습니다만 무슨 일이에요? I have time, but what is it? Here, 있다 has a final consonant. So, you add 씁니다만 to make 있습니다만. I have, but in this sentence, the speaker is trying to say but in a more polite manner. Next is an example with a verb without a final consonant. 저는 갑니다만 어머니는 못 갑니다. I can go, but my mother can't go. Here, 가다 does not have a final consonant, so you add 비읍니다만 to say 갑니다만. Lastly, let's check a verb with real final consonant. 그의 이름은 압니다만 얼굴을 잘 모르겠어요. I know his name, but I don't really know his face. Here, 알다 is to know, right? This word has real final consonant. So you remove real, goodbye real, and add 비읍니다만 to say 압니다만. I know, but... Then let's take a quick quiz. What goes into the parentheses? 이거 좀 빌려도 되겠습니까? I'm sorry, but may I borrow this for a moment? Number one, 미안하겠습니다만. Number two, 죄송합니다만. The answer is number two. 죄송하다, to be sorry, does not have a final consonant. So you add 비읍니다만, and it becomes 죄송합니다만. The whole sentence would be 죄송합니다만, 이것 좀 빌려도 되겠습니까? Got it? Oh. Now let's listen to today's conversation again, but this time only in Korean. Focus everything here and make sure you understand all the contents. 그럼 확인해 보세요. 보미 씨, 오늘 저녁에 시간 있으세요? 시간은 있습니다만 무슨 일이에요? 제 후배가 유람선 표를 세장 줬어요. 우리 같이 유람선을 타고 야경 구경하러 가요. 와! 그 유람선은 광고에서 많이 봤어요. 근데 제가 가도 돼요? 물론이죠. 제 친구들은 아무도 가고 싶어 하지 않아요. 그럼 제 친구를 데려가도 될까요? 네, 그러세요. 토미 씨 친구도 기뻐할 거예요. This is practice time! I will play the conversation one sentence at a time. This is only time you can practice speaking. So let's read along with me. 그럼 큰 소리로 읽어보세요. 보미 씨, 오늘 저녁에 
시간 있으세요? 시간은 있습니다만 무슨 일이에요? 제 후배가 유람선 표를 세장 줬어요. 우리 같이 유람선을 타고 야경 구경하러 가요. 와, 그 유람선은 광고에서 많이 봤어요. 근데 제가 가도 돼요? 물론이죠. 제 친구들은 아무도 가고 싶어 하지 않아요. 그럼 제 친구를 데려가도 될까요? 네, 그러세요. 토미 씨 친구도 기뻐할 거예요. 어! Now, I will announce the homework for today's class. We have two homework assignments. The first homework is writing. Please use a odo t e o to write a sentence on asking for a permission. For example, I would write like this. 영화를 봐도 돼요? May I watch a movie? For the second sentence, use 비읍습니다만 아오 주시겠어요? But Can you? To ask someone a favor in a polite manner. For example, 죄송합니다만 길을 좀 알려주시겠어요? I'm sorry, but can you please teach me a direction? This is a very polite way of asking directions. The second homework is to memorize vocabulary. Please memorize 40 words. from 921 to 960 on page 12 of the elementary vocabulary list. You can take a vocabulary quiz on my website for free! So please check it out. That's all for today! Thank you so much for watching till the end! You guys are so fantastic! Someday I definitely want to meet you guys. 그럼 오늘도 행복 가득 웃음 카드 칸 하루 되세요. 한국어 파이팅 파이팅 파이팅.